Hey, John Higgins here, Mortgage One. Happy Monday. So, um, you know, we continue to make new highs in mortgage interest rates. Last week, uh, we, we've seen the 10-year Treasury hit a new uh, year high at uh, well over 4%. We topped out at 4.32%. That, that's translated into a, a mortgage rate on a 30-year fix that's solidly above 7% now. So pretty crazy to see where we've come from the beginning of the year where, you know, when I, I joked that I woke up on January 3rd and the world had changed. So interest rates on December 31st last year were, were in the mid 3% range and here we are uh, well over double that number. And what, what has that done? I mean, inflation has been the big culprit as far as rates go. Um, the Fed is doing everything they can, as we know, to, to get their hands on inflation. And the only way they, they really know how to do this is to push short-term interest rates higher, and that's having a big impact. You know, I was looking at some numbers from NAR. They're showing year-over-year -year sales across the country down by a whopping 23.8%. This has shown up differently across the country. So Redfin is reporting that uh, sales in Denver, they're down 74%. Phoenix down 67%, but here in the Midwest and, and more specifically Detroit, Redfin's reporting just a 1% decrease year over year in sales. So, you know, we've always been a very affordable area and that is showing up in the sales. So that, that's good news. Uh, we continue to think that the, the sweet spot in the marketplace because rents are up is first time home buyers. They're, they're representing about 34% of the marketplace right now, maybe a little bit more than the the average that we've seen over the last number of years, which is probably closer to 30%, that's a great market to try to tap into uh, because we know that rents are a prime driver of inflation. So, you know, owning a home gives you some price certainty for sure. So this week, um, look for a couple things that'll be coming out later this week. We've got the PCE, that's the personal consumption expenditure. That's the Fed's favorite uh, number as far as inflation goes. And then we also get our first read on the third quarter GDP. So we'll see what these uh, rates are doing as far as potting down our economic growth. Technically, we're not in a recession. We did have two negative prints to start the year as far as GDP, but we'll see where, uh, where this third quarter comes in. So have a great week. If you need anything, certainly give me a call.